I'd like to show you how you can add something to Padlet and there are different formats, different media that you can add and we're going to have a quick look at those. So I am logged in to Padlet uh, as this is the UAL, my UAL Padlet account and this is actually, I have just used this for a training session and that's why there's kind of a rich variety of things. So uh, the key thing is here is that we click on the plus. So having clicked on the plus, um, up here top right, we have title, write something, and then we have a series of icons and then additional icons here. So let's, let's we'll, we'll kind of take it one step at a time. So I'm going to start with the web page. And this is the web page that I would like to add. Uh, to do that, I simply select the URL, copy that, go back to Padlet, and where you see this little link icon, you just click and paste and then save. So I'm going to give it a title. So I'm going to call it London. And then I'm going to call it um, then and now. Perfect. OK, so I'm very happy with that. Now, maybe I want to move this. And if I did, I simply click on it and drag it. And maybe I want to move it somewhere else. So you can see that this is the page is very fluid and you can move things around as you like. Let's say I want to put this on the top. You know, again, can I do that? Seemingly not. Perhaps I can put that underneath. Okay, I can. So it's okay, so I've managed I managed to sort of move it below that. Okay, so I'm very happy with that. Let's now have a look at adding a video. So again, we go back to this plus, and again, top left, uh, top left hand corner, uh, the same thing. So this is my video, and so let's just see how we do this. So I'm just going to click on uh, share. So this this one is coming from YouTube, but it could come from any other um, could come from any other uh, source. And I'm going to go back to Padlet, and just as we've done before, I'm going to click on the link and then hit save. Okay, so that is the, what we're seeing now is the thumbnail of the video. I'm going to give it a title. So I'm going to call it um, tutorial and my blog or getting started maybe. Okay, perfect. So again, I'm happy with that. Uh, and again, should I want to move that? Let's say I want to move it uh, to here, then, you know, again, I can do so. So that's great. So uh, let's have a look at some of the other options. So again, we go back to the plus and something that I, so let's just click on these three dots here. So I would like to have a look at this. So place, place a location. So this works with Google Maps. And so I'm just going to click and okay, so by default, this looks to me like I'm, this is where my ignorance comes in. Is this, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to guess that it's Italy. Uh, however, it is a guess, so apologies. Now, I am actually based in Berlin. So I'm going to type Berlin in here, and then I'm going to click the arrow. So let's see what that does. Okay, not much. See, okay, perfect. That's that's more what I was expecting. And I actually live on Meyerheim Strasse. So let's see. If that works. Okay, I'm gonna hit the return key. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the arrow doesn't seem to be working for me, but if I uh, put the cursor at the end of the name and then hit the return key, it does. So, and, and actually, this is exactly where I live, exactly where I live, although I actually live about here. So I'm going to click Save. And what we'll see is that that image will, will appear, appear here. And uh, I'll just put Home and I'll put Berlin in there. Okay, perfect. So, 
And again, just as I've done with all the other ones, if I want to move it around, you know, I can do. Something else that you might find useful is that you can actually change the colors as well. So you'll, you'll notice that that's true uh, in some of the other posts that um, people have done, they've changed the colors. But that is obviously for, uh, if you're organizing things or categorizing things, that might be a useful thing. I won't look at any more Ah, now this is a very useful thing. Okay, let's let's just have another look at this um, in terms of options. So you can see that these are all available, and I am in Chrome, and every and Chrome supports everything that all the uh, the different formats and the different media types that Padlet offer. However, that's not true of all browsers, and I'm just going to show you an example. So I'm going to go to Safari. And again, so I'm not logged in as, as, uh, as me here. It says log in. So we're accessing the same page that we were looking at in the other browser in Chrome, but we are now in Safari. And let's just see what happens. So I click on the plus again. Um, I would be fine putting in um, web links to videos and web pages, but look what happens when I click on the three dots there are certain formats that are not supported. So, I mean, if you're happy not to work with these formats, then that's completely fine. Uh, but I suppose what I'm trying to say here is that uh, Chrome is a, a, a very, um, is probably going to give you the best experience when you are working with Padlets.